Great news, guys. We're all going to be rich. Probably. I've already found two plus money bangers for tonight that have no chance of losing as of right now. Obviously, the probabilities can change once these games start, but from where we're sitting right now, no way either one of these bets lose. I checked myself. But before we get to those, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We do videos like these every single day of the week, almost. Sometimes we go with long shots, sometimes we just hang around with some smaller plus money bangers. But no matter what, we're always data driven. It's just a smart way to do things. And a word of the wise, we go live at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, every single week. During those streams, I show you how to use the Plus EV tool at Odds Jam. You can rip the exact same bets I do doing that stream. Why would you want to do that? Because we've dominated the book since we started doing these streams. Every bet we make is tracked, and here's what we did in February. That is a lot of green. So far in March, it's more of the same. Everything is coming up Odds Jam, and we reap the benefits. Again, just get the notifications on and you won't miss any of those streams. As for tonight's moves I'm about to talk about in this video, I've got one that I originated on my own and then one I ripped from the Plus EV tool at Odds Jam. The first one is Damian Lillard, 8 plus assist, plus 130 at FanDuel. I actually went to bet this at plus 145. It changed to plus 130 right in front of me. I wasn't really paying attention the way I should have been and I clicked through. Whatever, it happens. Lesson learned, just pay attention. Still, I think we're good here. Obviously, plus 130 isn't as good as plus 145, but it is what it is, and I still think it's good enough for me. For starters, Dame is passing the rock like a true point guard these days. I know the haters are going to say that he only had six assists last game, but that wasn't his fault. The Bucks got their asses kicked by the Sacramento Kings. We all saw it. They legit shot 36% as a team. I've seen fourth grade girls shoot a higher percentage. The thing is, the Bucks are a decent shooting team. They're seventh best in the NBA in shooting percentage this season. They just had a bad night. It happens to everybody. The good news is Lillard still dropped six dimes that night and he had 14 other potential assists. The guy was right there. In the two games prior, he had 11 plus assists in both games. We only need eight here, guys. The Bucks are gonna see the Philadelphia 76ers tonight and while there is blowout potential, I think we're good. The Knicks just baptized the 76ers last time out, and Jalen Brunson still had 9 assists. He only played 27 minutes. So even if the Bucks beat down the 76ers, I still think Dame can get home. The game before that, the 76ers also played the Knicks, and Brunson dropped 8 dimes on him that game, even though his team only shot 32%. So, if there's a dogfight between two bad shooting teams, Lillard can still get home. All I'm saying is 8 plus assists for Lillard should not be plus 130. I think 7.5 should be the standard line, and if I was in charge, that's the line I would have made. These two teams just played a few weeks ago, and Dame ended up with 9 assists that game. But what the haters won't tell you is that he had 14 potential assists as well. So for that reason, if you psychos out there want to go 10 plus assists plus 430 at FanDuel, I don't have a problem with it. You can't win if you don't bet. The next move for tonight is Fred Van Vliet over 34 and a half points plus rebounds plus assists plus 105 at Fanatics. This came straight from the plus EV tool at Odds Jam. And if by the time this video comes out, this exact line isn't still available, don't cry, don't be mad. Here's what you can do. Get a free trial to Odds Jam. You can use the EV tool for free for two weeks all you got to do is use the promo code SLOP. The link is in the description. Again, promo code SLOP. It'll get you two free weeks. Still, as of this recording, this line is still there. FanDuel is actually showing 33.5 minus 115, but every other book on the planet is at 34.5 minus 120 or higher. It's definitely a plus EV move, although I really don't like PRA markets. It's a personal preference though, nothing that's backed by actual data. It just feels like if a guy goes over his PRAs, then I feel like he does it because he went over on his points. So why don't we just take the points then? But if you've ever bet on Van Vliet, then you know this guy's all over the map with scoring. Still, his standard line for tonight is 21 and a half points. If he gets even close to that, I think he could easily go over 34 and a half PRAs. The Rockets have the Washington Wizards in their building tonight, and they play at the fastest pace in the NBA. Even though we do have blowout potential here, I think we'll get a good effort out of the Wizards. They just lost to a G League team last time out. So if they have any pride whatsoever, they're going to show up tonight. On top of that, we don't know how good the Rockets are without Alperin Singoon, who's out for the rest of the season with a leg injury. They've only played one game without him, and they were in a dogfight with the San Antonio Spurs. 
the Spurs are not good. The Rockets just don't give me any confidence right now that they can blow someone out. What that means is we should see everybody on both sides get their full complement of minutes in an up-tempo game. I think an environment like that is going to help Van Vliet get his peripheral stats like rebounds and assists. Still, if you don't want to go PRAs on Fred, you could look to over 4.5 rebounds plus 108 or over 8.5 assists also plus 108 at FanDuel. It's hard to imagine that he gets over 34 and a half PRAs without going over both of those. Still, I'll warn you now, it's going to suck so bad tonight if this guy goes out and drops 30 plus points and does little else in the rebounds and assist market. That's why I'm fine with just going the PRAs. I think that number actually is going to creep up as the day goes on. I'll see you guys later on the live stream. Don't forget to get the notifications on.